regreso aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network y como les estaba comentando, hace un par de semanas ya estuvimos en Portland, Oregon en la presentación de la nueva E-Class de Mercedes-Benz. Bueno, no es en realidad nueva porque el modelo actual apenas lleva unos tres años en el mercado, sin embargo, debido a la alta competencia que hay en el segmento, Mercedes-Benz eh, le ha dado un rediseño uh, prácticamente total al vehículo, no solamente es cosmético, una gran cantidad de tecnología nueva, eh, no solamente de seguridad, de desempeño, eh, y el E-Class de Mercedes-Benz es eh, el modelo más versátil que tiene el fabricante alemán, porque está el modelo sedán, obviamente el de cuatro puertas, está la Station Wagon, en el cual prácticamente no tiene competencia, está el Coupé también y está el convertible. Eh, además de tiene el motor de gasolina, van a tener el motor diésel que va a salir un poco más adelante eh, eh, aquí en el mercado de Estados Unidos y por supuesto la división AMG de alto desempeño. Así que vamos a otro test drive, eh, eh, otra entrevista mientras manejamos el nuevo Mercedes-Benz E-Class, en este caso fue el Cabriolet, el convertible, y estamos hablando ahí con Karen Macris, una de las eh, responsables de la, la producción del nuevo Mercedes-Benz E-Class 2014. So how are you, Karen? Very well. How are you today, Javier? Thank you very much. Karen Macris, a uh, Product Manager for Mercedes-Benz for the new uh, family of E-Class, like the largest family in Mercedes-Benz, right? That's right, yes. So how many variants are of this car? 15 models, including the E-Class sedan, the wagon, the coupe, the cabriolet. Yeah, let's gonna start driving a little bit. Here we're like riding the cabriolet, which is beautiful. Maybe we should open the, the top and enjoy like sure. this beautiful day here in outside Portland, Oregon. And it's a, a really a fantastic day. So the top of this car, it's uh, automatic as you are, are seeing now, and you can uh, operate it at what? 25 miles an hour, yes, right? Yes, yes, low speeds. 15 variants and uh, so of uh, you have the sedan, the coupe, the cabriolet and the wagon. Yes, that's right. So what are the other options in the car? Like, uh, I mean, I guess uh, gas and uh, diesel, right? We have gas and diesel and we also have an E400 hybrid in the sedan range. And the diesel is new for us for model year 14. It's the E250 Blue Tech. So that's a dual stage turbo. And the nice thing about the diesel engine is that it has tremendous horsepower and torque. The torque is actually equivalent nearly to one of our V8 engines, 369 pound-feet of torque. That's like a, a four-cylinder. It is, an inline four-cylinder, correct. Which is, is also on the um, GLK, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. So we're really excited about having that in the lineup now for model year 14. That, in addition to the redesign, is just a tremendous model year for us. And it's not often that you see such major changes at the midpoint in a life cycle. Exactly, because this car, the, the current generation, has been on the market, what, for like about three years? Exactly, and it's been very, very successful for us. Yeah, so diesel, gas, hybrid, and then there's something else on the very top of the line, right? Oh, uh, the AMG, <laughs> yes, of course, and even you in the AMGs, that from us. Yeah. right, we have Formatic now available on the AMG, so we've done a lot at the midlife cycle not only with the redesign, but in terms of the engines, as you mentioned. So that diesel, very important for us. And now we have Formatic on the diesel, as well as a two-wheel drive available. And the big news in the AMGs is that Formatic is standard on the AMG model. Another great thing about this car, I, I recently was uh, in Toronto, not, not like so long ago, like a month ago, driving the new S-Class, mm -hmm. and that car is full of technology. Yes. But all the technology, the safety technology, has come down to this level, right? That's the best news. All of the intelligent drive technologies actually make their debut in the E-Class. It's the exact same package that we will be offering on the S-Class in a few months when that car launches. But right now, the intelligent drive suite of technologies is available on the E-Class models for $2,800. So we're very, very excited about that. A lot of innovative technologies. We have over 30 systems, um, either new or significantly enhanced. Yeah, one of them is the Distronic. Uh, that debuted, I think, uh, in 2000, around that time. Mm -hmm. But now the new system, it uh, basically makes the car drive itself. I mean, almost there. I, well. mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, you still enjoy it. I mean, this car, we were driving here over the mountains here outside uh, Portland, and like, it, like the performance is amazing. I mean, like, the grip on the road is like, the, the handling of everything is like a big convertible, but like, it, it handles perfectly. But with the, with the strength plus, it's for a different kind of uh, driving, right? Like CD and stop and go kind of thing. 
Exactly, and we were just talking about that a little earlier this afternoon. One of the nice things about the Distronic system, which you just mentioned, is in stop-and-go traffic. I think a lot of us have a tendency to think of the Distronic system as something that we might use on long distances, long drives, but it's actually a very convenient technology for short distances and stop-and-go traffic. It is really a much less stressful way. The other technologies are that, uh, for uh, the pre-save, uh, the lane assist, I mm -hmm. mean, like you said, like 30, 30 systems in total, right? Well, yes, the driver assistance package that we offer is a combination of the Distronic Plus system with steering assist, which is new. In that package, we also have active lane keeping assist, active blind spot assist, we have brake assist, we have cross uh, traffic recognition, which is new for us. We have pedestrian recognition. It's really an embarrassment of riches now that we have in terms of innovative new technology. Yeah, yeah. and Mercedes-Benz is always on the, on the top of the line in technology and everything. Can you repeat again when are the, the diesels are coming in later, right? The diesels will be out in a few weeks. We have a September launch date. Everything else has been introduced already. The sedans and wagons were introduced in April of this year. The coupes and cabriolets we introduced in June and the AMG models earlier in August. So by the time we reach September, all 15 models of the E-Class family will be available in the marketplace. And the E-Class is, uh, I mean, I think that the, the, the bigger volume for Mercedes-Benz is the C-Class, right? And the, but the, the E-Class just comes close, close behind. Well, the E-Class is a very, very large volume model for us. The E-Class actually represents about 25% of total Mercedes-Benz sales. So the sedan could do approximately 50,000 units a year, and then the coupe and cabriolet do about six and 7,000 units respectively. The wagon can do about 1,500 to 2,000 units a year. So it's a very important model range for us. It really is the cornerstone of the brand. Yeah, and the great thing is that like it's one every model for every need or every every taste, right? Exactly, as I think you saw earlier today, and hopefully you've been experiencing on the drive today yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a fabulous car. So we're gonna keep enjoying driving here in this beautiful day in the convertible. And maybe we'll try the wagon. I saw the wagon on the road. It looks pretty cool. And you, you don't have competition in the wagon, by the way, right? There's nobody else. 100 percent market share. There is nobody else in the market. That's right. So I right. think they're going to do very well with that one. I think so, too. <laughs> Thank you very much, Karen. Thank you, Javier. Enjoy the day. Esa fue Karen Macris, eh, una la gerente de producción de la eh, Mercedes-Benz E-Class para el mercado de Estados Unidos. Y una Product Manager, como le llaman eh, en los fabricantes de autos, son las personas responsables que coordinan con el fabricante, en este caso en Alemania, para determinar exactamente qué es lo que buscan los clientes acá en Estados Unidos, qué es lo que están buscando, cómo equipar los vehículos, cómo poner eh, suficiente accesorios eh, para además eh, no solamente complacer a los... Um, a los consumidores, sino también eh, hacer eh, sentido económico, ¿no? Es decir, a ganar dinero con los eh, vehículos que venden. Así que Mercedes-Benz eh, está renovando muchos de sus modelos. Este fue el lanzamiento del E-Class. Ya tuvieron el S-Class hace no mucho. Estuvimos en Toronto para manejar ese vehículo también, que realmente, aunque ellos lo dicen, eh, que es el mejor auto del mundo, hay que reconocerlo porque la tecnología que tiene Francamente es espectacular y mucha de esa tecnología de seguridad del S-Class de Mercedes-Benz está ahora también disponible en el E-Class. El mes próximo vamos a tener la oportunidad de manejar el nuevo modelo de la Mercedes-Benz que es el CLA que está en el otro extremo del S-Class porque el CLA es un sedán y también un coupé que va a salir eh, eh, con eh, un precio por debajo de los 30 mil dólares, algo que no es eh, típico o que no se podría quizá pensar de un Mercedes Benz, pero eh, están eh, Mercedes Benz está tratando de acercarse a otro tipo de consumidores, consumidores más jóvenes que tienen eh, quizá no tanto poder económico, pero eh, le van a ofrecer, como siempre, eh, la mayor eh, cantidad de tecnología, un excelente diseño, así que ese va a ser el Mercedes Benz CLA que próximamente vamos a ir a manejar allá por las calles de Washington DC. Así que esto ha sido todo por hoy. Eh, esto es Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota y los esperamos en una nueva edición muy pronto aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.